Welcome back to part two of data joining. Now, in this case, we're going to use a little different data set. This is employees. We've got three employee tables, employee group, info, and tenure. And there are just Excel tables here. So you've got your name, skill code, employee name, name, number, and salary. Now, the key to this, or the difficulty of this, is some of the names have a space between the comma and the first name, and some do not. Now, I had somebody bring this up to my attention. This is, uh, I don't understand how that would happen, or why that would happen, but this was the data set that he was working with. And we'll show you how to handle that. And then employee number with the tenure. So a couple different types of joins here. So we're going to go to Tableau. It's already been linked. And we're going to bring over the employee group. So, and now we're going to bring over employee info. So we learned from last time that you've got, th this means you need to work it. So we know name and employee name. We're going to run that. And we know that there's a couple of names missing. Okay. So last time in part one, we learned about this join calculation. Well, this join calculation would be very difficult to figure out how to account for the different spaces so we're going to try something else real quick. There's a feature when you bring over data that you can actually split the data. So we're going to split this employee name in the info tab. And now you have the last name and the first name, how you want it, right? But the problem is they're linked and the employee name is still not matching up. So we've tried this before. We've said, let's go to the calculated Let's do a calculated uh, join. And let's type in employee name. All right, so you see employee name. It doesn't have the employee name split one or split two. Unfortunately, you can't use these. When you split the field, you can't use them in join calculations. So we're going to have to handle this a different way. We're going to remove this. Now we're going to go back to sheet one. Let's see, this was, pretend this wasn't here. So here's what you've got. You've got your name, your skill code. That's what you were expecting to see. Now to add in that other table and to link it up, you're going to go to new data source. You're going to go through these steps. This is what you would do if you're adding any table to Tableau. It looks the same way here. you got your employee info, just like you want. You've got all the names now. We're going to still use that feature. We're going to split it. And so now it splits into two, um, two fields. Let's go back to sheet one. All right. So you have both data sources. Now what you're going to do, we're going to do is we're going to go to the info. We're going to create a clean employee name clean. And this is where we're going to just say, take the employee name, the first split field, Concatenate, it actually is just add. I mean, I like the other, the little and percent or the shift over the seven, but anyway, that's just me. So employee two, you got to make sure there's a space because that's what has in the other table. So now you have a calculated field. Come back up here to data. You're going to edit the relationship. In this case, just to show you explicitly what's happening, we're going to create a custom relationship. We're going to take the clean name and link it with the, 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 just the name. Click OK. Come back up here to the employee group. We're going to bring over the name. All the names are showing up like we thought. Now you're coming back to the employee workbook and you see that there's a little red um, chain. That means this is the field that's being linked. If you had more complex tables, you might link multiple fields and you'd have multiple of these red chains. So now we've got, we can bring over the salary. Salary works. Now just to show you what is happening, you've got the names here that have just the no space and the space. And just like we talked about in part one, when you're linking tables like this, you just have to determine which fields you're going to use to, for display purposes, which one do you want? 
Okay, so we also want to show tenure. Now this is something that's really going to be a little bit tricky. Remember how I said when we first pulled this in it was a little bit confusing, the data source? So you click the data source, this is the employee info. Or we can come here, now we have the employee group. Now the tenure, if you remember, is based off of the employee record number. So we'll come to the data source, we'll bring over the employee tenure, and we're going to want um, everywhere where they both equal. And they're keying off the employee number, everything looks right. Usually in situations I would like to have a left field join where you get all of the employee info and then everything that matches. So in case there is some things that aren't filled out, you can, you can identify those. Now when we come here, we're going to bring the employee tenure over. Actually, let's move that under label. So now we have the, or actually, you're right, maybe we'll just put it back under here. It'll look a little better. And we're just going to call this discrete. And so now you've got, we want the spacing, so we're going to pull this off. Last key points, if you can't join a table for some reason on the sourcing tab, come over here and you can add it here under data, new data source, and then you're going to want to edit the relationship. One last thing is if you are going to go back later and add tables, to the data source, you really need to make sure which tab you're looking at. There you go.